today is a funny day i will tell you that much but anyway so <laughs> we gonna just jump into the shit y'all know i don't need no intro here's the thing i was on a shade room the other day yeah it was the other day and so whatever this lady named coco or something like that made us a twitter handle posted something talking about basically it was the voicemail recording of this man that she gave her number to now i don't know the backstory completely about how she went about giving him the number if it's somebody she worked she said somebody she met at her job now i don't know if it was a co-worker or like a customer or whatever i'm assuming it was a customer but anyway so i don't know how many times this man called her um after he got the number i don't know if that was his first time calling apparently homegirl didn't answer the phone why she didn't you met her at work maybe she was still at work she clearly has a job she clearly got shit to do whatever i don't know so in the message he went from he just basically flipped shit on this lady they she literally just met him gave him her number and for whatever reason she didn't answer the phone when he called he just completely went ape shit on her and was real disrespectful talking about oh how she thinks she this and she ain't this. my thing is this i feel bad for men because nine times out of ten you have to give you know you got to walk up to the woman and give the woman your number i'm not really into the approaching man i don't feel like it's ladylike like come on like i'm not about to go up to no man i don't care how fine you are it doesn't matter if you want me you got to come approach me and try to talk to me and that's just the bottom line but see here's the thing you get a woman's number you call her you text her whatever if she don't answer the first time she might not if she don't answer the first couple of times what the fuck give you the right to call yourself going off on her you don't fucking know her you know what i'm saying you don't know what she got going on you don't know anything and the fact of the matter is if she gave you the number clearly it was her right number or whatever and she don't get back to you then maybe that should be uh inkling to you and maybe you know this is not really what i want but to go off on this woman voicemail like she owe you something just because you she got you got her number and she didn't call right back or she didn't answer the phone it's like first of all you look fucking stupid melvin and that's the man name is melvin or whatever and now you all on social media looking like a damn duck and looking desperate as fuck like one thing about it don't let nobody make you look desperate don't make yourself look desperate like, i'm gonna put it like that don't make yourself look desperate like you look real stupid right now and you look crazy and it's kind of a good thing that she know now that you fucking crazy because it's like clearly that's not who she to get with in the first place moving along with that being said this is not the first time i've seen some some shit like that first time i heard some shit like that so i came up with which i had already been thinking about this list anyway 10 tips to stay safe when you are dating Dating is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be dangerous. It's not supposed to be traumatic. It's not supposed to be just all out crazy. It's supposed to be lightweight and fun. Like that's what's the whole point of dating. You don't want drama. You don't want drama in a relationship. Let alone when you start dating somebody. Like, like what? And then if you're dating multiple people, it's like, man, get the fuck up out of here with this bullshit. Cause you will be replaced. Anyway. So, I wrote them down, y'all. Tip number one. Don't give out too, information, too much information. When y'all talking to however you meet, if you meet the person in the grocery store, online, in church, whatever. You don't know them. Okay, they're a stranger. So, have conversation, of course, get to know people. But, watch how much information you divulge. Because sometimes... In conversation you might let a lot of stuff out the like you might say stuff that you really shouldn't be telling this person because you really don't know them that well so just kind of watch what you say have conversation and of course be open don't be sitting up there with a stick up your ass but just be careful and watch what you're saying because some people just be collecting you know what I'm saying they don't just be asking for the sake of just getting to know you they be collecting number two don't accept them on social media if y'all are just dating and like i said especially if you're dating multiple people don't accept them on your social media if they want to be friends on social media be like you know what that's not something really that i do or be honest with them be like look i'm dating a couple people so because you don't want that whole situation where you accept them on social media 
you know, they start commenting on your pictures, then your other boo start commenting on your pictures, then this boo start commenting on your pictures, and, and, and boo, boo number two, three, four, five, won't know who boo number, none of your damn business, that's who, that's who, because if we not together, whoever I talk to, it's none of your damn business, if there have not been a conversation about us being exclusive, don't be asking me about nobody, ain't none of your damn business, all right, number three, who I found, if you're going to talk to somebody, do it on Snapchat, because guess what? Snapchat is, to me, not really social media. Yeah, you can talk to people on video, on Instagram, and stuff like that. Talk to them on Snapchat. See, you talk to them on Snapchat. They're not on your social media. And you can talk to them, motherfucker. You can see what's going on in their background. If they say they live by themselves, but really they living with their baby mama, or they living with their wife, or they living with their mama. Or the, you know what I'm saying? Check the background. Do a video call. You know what I'm saying? Your phone number. Depending on how you meet. If you don't feel comfortable giving your number out, I don't feel comfortable giving my number out no more. I don't. Like, it, it literally, I don't. So, if you want to try to be able to talk to somebody and not really give out your phone number, there's a bunch of apps out there that you can use. Which I don't suggest, but at the same time, if that's what you want to do, you can do it that way. Or Snapchat. You can call them on Snapchat. You can video chat on on Snapchat, and guess what? They don't have to have your real phone number. They don't have to have your real, real phone number. If that's not something you're comfortable with, when you get comfortable with them, then you can go ahead and be like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable giving you my number, but look, what's your Snapchat? If they have one. Depending on their age, depending on the person. Number five, don't get nobody your address. I'm old school. If we go on a date, I like to be picked up. But at the same time, you still have to be safe. So, don't give out your address. Meet them somewhere. Have them pick you up somewhere else. You know, wherever. Like I said, depending on where you meet them at. Let them pick you up. Somewhere else. <laughs> wherever they fucking may be. I don't give a fuck if you be like, you know what? Meet me at Starbucks on such such street. And y'all drive to the restaurant. And y'all drive to wherever y'all going keep your address private you know what i'm saying number six this is one i this is something that i used to do that i'm about to start back doing when you go on a date with somebody take a picture of their license plate me personally i don't give a fuck so i'm gonna say hey i'm gonna take a picture of your license plate if that person that you're dating have a problem with that don't go on that date because if me taking a picture of your license plate is like making you nervous or you don't really like that what's the problem this is about me i am a woman women get raped kidnapped and all kind of stuff on dates okay it's a real fucking thing it just don't happen in lifetime movies it happen in real life so therefore you need to make sure you're okay so yes i will take a picture of you and i have done that take a picture of a motherfucker license plate and driver's license and i will send it to my sister i will send it to my niece friend whatever this is who I'm going on a date with. Because guess what? When it's time for the police to find your ass, all they got to do is run them plates on me. And they go get you. Whatever. So then, leads me to number seven. Let people know. You're grown. You don't have to get approval to date any fucking body. You date whoever you want to date. You don't have to get nobody's permission. But, for safety purposes, let someone know you're going on a date. Like I said, number six, when you gave them your, your uh, license plate, you sent it to your friend, number six and seven go together. Let somebody know who you're going with. Let them know that person first and last name. Every date I have ever been on in my life, somebody knew I was on that date. You know what I'm saying? When I was on a date and I just met somebody, somebody knew I was there. Regardless of whether I told the person who I went on a date with, somebody knew what that person's name was, at least what the name that they told me, how old that person was, and what place we were going to. They knew when I arrived, and they knew when I left. So if you don't get a text from me saying I left this this place, something, okay, it's the problem. Somebody go call and be like, hey, are you home? You know, things happen, the night might go a little longer. You be like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Let someone know what you're doing. Like I said, this is not about a food. This is about safety, okay? Safety. Number eight, investigate. Look into information. Listen, motherfucker be telling you shit. 
follow up on the shit. If this is somebody you really like, if somebody you're interested in, follow up on the shit that they tell you, even if it's something little. You know, everybody got that friend that like to look up shit. Let that friend do some investigating. Figure out what the motherfucker doing. Pull a record. Whatever. Number nine. If I have children, that person, if that person have children, whatever children involved, like I said, if you're dating, I would suggest you keep people away from your kids. Don't let nobody meet your kids unless that's somebody you feel like you can have a relationship with. And even then, I'm not going to put a time limit on when you should introduce somebody to your kids. That's a personal choice. Sometimes you need to let people see your kids if that's somebody you're going to get in a relationship with because you need to see how they interact um, with your children. So therefore, it's good to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You got to know like if your child like this person. Because if your child don't like this person, it's like, how can I ever be with you? But at the same time, you have to kind of ease yourself into that situation because... You don't want your child to meet somebody and get attached to somebody and then that person is gone. And then it's like, where is such and such? And I'm not one of them women who do, oh, this is uncle. No, we're not doing the uncle shit. First of all, it's weird. Because if that's the uncle, that means that's your mother's brother. Like, it, I don't understand that. Number 10, last but not fucking least, watch their actions. Watch how they treat you. Are they gen are they a gentleman? You know what I'm saying? When y'all going out, are they are they like a, a womanizer? Are they constantly looking at other women when y'all supposed to be on a date? Every man look. Let me let me be clear. Every man looks, but womanizers look extra hard. And to the point of almost being disrespectful. Watch out for little shit like that. Watch out for how he act. Watch out if he on his phone too much when y'all supposed to be at dinner. I feel like this. If you're at dinner with somebody or if you're on a date with somebody, y'all could be sitting down having drinks. I, I'm going to check on my children, you know what I'm saying, before I get there or as soon as I arrive. And then I'm going to put my phone down because we're, we're in, we're, I'm out here giving you my time and I expect you to give me your time and your undivided attention. Shit might come up, but if the motherfucker like, uh-huh, 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 nah, that's, you don't get a second date. Unless they're, like I said, some people got a lot of shit going on. You might glance at your phone. It's fine. But if we're on a date, put your phone down. Like, why are you on your phone? Like, that's that's whack as fuck. Don't do that. Then, why did they touch you too much? Why did they touch you too much? You don't know me. Don't touch me too much. A man might hold your hand. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might be walking somewhere. He might touch you, you know, in your back or something like that. If his hand happens to fall on your ass or he's sliding down or he like, you know, doing too much, watch out for stuff like that because I, I watch, I'm telling you, watch out for stuff like that. Because the stuff that you, the little subtle things that you might laugh off and be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? He just, whatever, might be a real situation. So just be careful and just watch the way that person acts. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying this shit to discourage anybody. Oh, Lord, my baby. For going on a date. Go on a date and have fun, but just have that extra and the extra and added protection that you know that this is this is okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know that you gonna make it home. Or whatever. And make sure motherfuckers don't follow you. That too. Make sure they don't follow you home. People crazy. People crazy. Like this man went clean off on this motherfucking lady because she didn't return a phone call. What would happen if she was to get in a relationship with him and she didn't return a phone call? What you gonna do then? You tripping now? We ain't even together. We ain't even together and you're tripping. That's fucking crazy, dude. That is crazy. But there's people out there like that. So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna run into a Melvin. Okay? You don't wanna run into a Melvin. And maybe by her putting that out there, maybe he not gonna do that anymore. Or maybe a woman might meet him or whatever and see those signs and stuff like that and be like, mm, no, I don't like that. Don't, his picture not up, it's just his name and his voice. But at the same time, maybe that's going to cause some attention to him and maybe he needs to reevaluate something and maybe he needs to go get some help, go talk to somebody because I'm pretty sure that's not the first person he did that to and it may not even be the last. Hopefully it is, but it may not be. But I'm telling y'all, and it's not just for women, men too. Date and be safe. Date and be safe. Okay? Make sure you do your research. Make sure you have a safety net. Make sure people know where you're going. 
make sure you know who you're dating. Sometimes people give people nicknames and shit. I don't like nicknames. Don't give me your nickname. I want your name. Don't give me your nickname. I've never liked that. Like, no. I need the real name. And then I need to see some ID. Because it's to that point. I need to see some ID. So, that's all for me, y'all.